Oh my gosh, can you believe it? They've actually made five of these things. Whoa. All right, yes, I saw it. It's the only second of the series that I've actually ever witnessed before. I saw the one in 2012 and now it's 2014. Every two years they're putting out one of these movies. It is Step Up, All In, 3D, yeah. Now I love to dance and I have danced semi-professionally, not to, uh, not like these, these guys. I mean, these guys are professional, beyond professional. I've only done a little bit, you know, just to try not, try and have some exercise in my life and it's been fun examining uh, dance and music and I love to dance. I love all kinds of dancing. So the only reason that I was remotely excited about, interested, or interested, and I was never excited, but I was interested to actually see this movie was the fact that does incorporate lots of amazing dancing. And so that's really the only reason to, if you really want to see this movie because I can't really even say any really nice things about this. Uh, this one actually makes the 2012 Step Up Revolution, it makes it look like a masterpiece. That makes the, you know, that version look like a masterpiece because I, uh, this is the story here, and I think this is a semi-sequel. There are characters that do come back from the original, no, not the original, but the 2012 film, and then there's some characters, I think, that come from Step Up 2, though I never saw that film. I would be interested to see Step Up, mainly the fact that, of course, it was the one of the first movies that Channing Tatum was in, and now he's pretty big. He's in a lot of blockbuster hits. He's a blockbuster star and I actually quite enjoy his persona, somewhat, uh, and as an actor and stuff like that. Anyways, hey, I'm doing a review. What's up? I'm doing my review. I thought you were in there for a while. I'm going to, I'm going to. I'm just doing my review outside. Want me to in and out? What? Meet me in in and out I'll be there in like uh, three minutes. Awesome, bro. Bye. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so yeah, Step Up, All In, of course, is the, just the same old stuff when it comes to dancing, these kind of dancing movies. Uh, I would really be more interested to see a documentary about these talented people that are actually a part of these movies because it's just... It's a waste of any talent that they have. They're not actors. They're not. They're not. Uh, they can't really emote any kind of emotion. We get a standard story here, with you know, boy meets girl, and the rent is due, and we have to go to Vegas and compete, and hopefully we'll win, so we can pay the rent and get a crew together. And it's really all the same stuff. I I actually kind of enjoyed the last film that I saw in 2012 because I like the overall story of the viral video that they have to put out a viral video and they have to get more creative every time and they have to continue to put out these viral videos, at least that's what I remember it was about. These things are so forgettable, I don't really even remember any of these characters. But, you know, I don't know what else to say about this movie. Uh, you know, no one's going to go see it anyways. I don't know who actually really even wants it. And they'll probably crank out another one of these things in about two years. So if you're a big fan of the Step Up movies, Step Up All In uh, has some really great dancing, generic characters, no real deep story. Of course, no one really wants that. I didn't really want that going in. I didn't expect that. And of course, I didn't expect any greatness going on. Uh, I, what I got, what, what I expected, I did get. Uh, the dancing is fabulous. Some of the 3D is kind of cool. So if you really want to see it in 3D, you might enjoy it as, as in, in that format. But there's really nothing, I don't know why. Why? I don't know why these movies get made. Please explain to me. If you if you enjoy these movies, are you the ones that are waiting for it? Uh, tell me why these movies get made. Is it just because uh, we have all these great dancers or is it just because of money and they're easy to make, they're easy to finance and they'll crank out the money and get the money back right away, get the return. Uh, but yeah, uh, I was kind of disappointed because again, I kind of enjoyed the last film and I'm never interested to see the other films except for Step Up, as I said before but this is just a complete waste of time. It's not the worst movie ever. I, I only give it a slight positive, not too positive, slight positive feeling or great about it, mainly the fact that the, the dancing is great. Not the way they shoot it or anything. I, I, not, the, you know, not crazy about the music, but it's actual dancing. That is pretty damn cool to watch. And 
that's the only way I'm going to recommend this movie is if you want to enjoy some really great dancing, there you go. But if you're looking for characters or story or a plot to care about or anything to make you think or turn your brain on and feel profound and intelligent, this is not the movie for you. So I'm going to give Step Up All In 3D two stars. I'm Movie Man Chat. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Twitter and I'm on Facebook. And please go to WeLiveFilm.com and subscribe right here on YouTube to We Live Film. Also go to Long Beach Acting and Film Association right here on Facebook and Twitter. Please also go to MoviePile.com and if you've enjoyed this video review, possibly, hopefully you did, movie review, uh, please, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and check out my other reviews that I've done. And I'll see you at my next video. I'm going to do one when I get home. I actually saw a really bad movie tonight. I mean, this was bad, but I actually saw a really bad movie, so I hope to do that review once I get home. Peace be with you, my friends.